I'm at a little disadvantage today. Not much of one. Longer. Hey guys, don't know if anybody's still in here, but YouTube is either screwing with me or AT&T is to keep a stream running today no matter what I do, unless I step outside like this, and then it's running just fine. So, I'm going to step inside, see if I lose the stream, and if I do, there just won't be a stream today. Uh, I've only got 15 more minutes anyway. I all set up in the classroom so you can actually watch the class while I talk and the stream just will not will not work it keeps recycling and rebooting and all that nasty stuff so because this stream is staying locked in in my building so, say la vie I do appreciate the Sky Pilot and James trying to come in. James Ward and Sky Pilot, thank you much if you do come back and watch this for coming in. I uh, guess I ought to get my buddy up and running. Oh great, now I can't get this phone to run. Not having a good day with electronics, that's for sure. Funny thing is, that building that I was just in trying to get it all to run used to be one of the best buildings out here to get a Wi-Fi signal. Or a phone signal, not a Wi-Fi signal. Evidently, it's not the best building anymore. So I'm stuck. You know, we're rocking a hard place. If I can get Dick James in, that way I can see chat. That's the only way I can see chat when I'm on my iPad. Apple really needs to work with their interface with YouTube, I'm here to tell you. Okay, let me see what we got. Yeah, it's perfect in here. Just great. Any live chat? Well... see the chat if it comes up yeah I know I'd give up on somebody that couldn't get it running in 10 minutes too guys don't feel bad I wouldn't come in and I got uh, yeah you were in 10 minutes ago I appreciate it guys Dick James left the light at least. It's kind of hard to like something that ain't running right. But it's running perfect now. Of course, I'm running it off the iPad. So, I'm not too sure on how that's going to work. But right now, it seems to be doing just fine. Anyway, guys. I was trying to set up in a room that I'm going to teach in this morning so that I could uh, show you at least one of the things I do, which is teach aerodynamics to helicopter pilots, well, instructor pilots, not pilots. Pilots get it from the contractor. They don't do the greatest job in the world. Yeah, but over there in that building, it just kept recycling. I have no idea why. It had a full signal and everything. Now I'm over here in this building and it's locked in tight. Doesn't make any sense to me. 
I was beginning to think YouTube was screwing with me. should have just stayed here and not tried to get fancy. That other building definitely does not work. That's odd. All these buildings are made out of the same stuff. They're laid out exactly the same. I guess the orientation on them. The front doors of that building are not suitable to drag the signal in. Of course, I do have a signal booster on this building. Not really a booster, just a glass mount antenna. Seems to be doing a good job, I guess. Yes, indeed. Well, I guess a lot of folks got scared off since it wasn't working. I don't blame them. I wouldn't have stuck around. Hey, Camero, good morning. I had a terrible time starting the stream, so I'm not going to be on long. It took me 15 minutes to find a spot where I could get a signal. So I won't be on too terribly long, about another 10, 15 minutes probably. Because I've got to teach again today. I tried to set it up so I could show you guys what I teach. And I got over there in the classroom and it said I had a full signal, but all it kept doing was asking me to reconnect, reconnect, kept breaking connections. Now, the possibility could be uh, that building has repeaters in it for the military network. So it might have been that. Yeah, I think Skypilot and James Ward may have left already, guys. They were in at 633 and I couldn't get things running. J and C, good morning. It's going to be another short one today. I, uh, I have to go teach. I tried to get it started at about 630 and it was nothing but... Uh, misery in the building I was in, so I had to move back to my old building. Something was causing it to just completely break signal every couple of minutes. So I don't know. Yeah, I've got to teach again today, so I've got to be next door. Oh, in about 10, 15 minutes or so, I've got to be next door. I left the store, left the place open for the students when they show up. I gotta make sure the computer runs and all that good stuff, so something else I have to do. Yes indeedy. Get him out the door. We got a three day coming up though. I totally forgot about it. How can I forget Veterans Day? But uh, I ain't getting no flying in this week. We've got ceilings down around four hundred feet and drizzly. It's not cold. It's 75 degrees out right now. With uh, nasty wet weather, I would not put any kind of drone out in that stuff and suck up all that moisture. Mm. 
Yeah, I wish I could have done what I was planning on doing, though. I think we would have found aerodynamics to be somewhat interesting. Uh, but I could not get the broadcast from over there. Blizzard, hello. You got a new channel? Quad Trash FTV? I will have to get in and check that out later today. All you guys do some pretty good stuff, man. Oh, that's your buddy? Okay. I think I got him the other day when I was in chat, but I'll double check to make sure. I'm pretty sure I got him. Okay, so his video's up on your channel. Or that video's up on your channel. Okay. I can I can handle that probably. It'll be later today. I'm fixing to get busy here in about, in about 10 minutes now. flying his head. Well, that ought to be interesting to see then, bud. No, didn't get a chance yesterday. It rained and I had to go to church last night. Didn't get home from church till almost 8 o'clock. Hell, the sun is setting like 5.45, 6 o'clock. We walked out the door at quarter to 6 and it was pitch dark already because of the time change. And I don't get home till almost 5. So, it's going to have to wait till the weekend. And unfortunately, it's been raining. So, I know she's getting wet. We'll salvage something out of her, I'm sure. I'd like to salvage the whole thing, but no, no luck finding that. Camera works great, though. Yeah, I've got low ceilings, totally overcast, drizzle, no wind, and it is warm. But uh, definitely not flying weather. Technically, you can't fly because the ceiling's 400, and I've got to be 500 feet below the clouds. So until those clouds get 900 feet or greater, I can't get up to my max height. you guys make it to the hub this morning, 9 o'clock Eastern, 8 Central. I got two more days of this where I won't be able to stream hardly at all. Uh, I really have big plans for today, but it didn't work out. The building I have to teach in just, it kept breaking the signal up. Not as of right now. Now, when they start enforcing the law, you're going to need your 107. But no, I think as a tourist, you'd be just fine. The worst thing that happens is they tell you you're not supposed to do it, and you just stop doing it. Why is no different than us, airspace-wise. The only thing they don't have is Class Alpha airspace, but hell, Class Alpha don't start to flight level 180. But you're not going to be going that high in your drone. Just be careful. No, 107 is primarily right now still just to make money. And like I was telling somebody the other day on one of my feeds, I'm hoping that they institute what one of the 
FISDOs told me they were trying to do, which is have two classifications of 107, one for novice or hobbyist and one for commercial. Tests will be different. Obviously, commercial tests will be much harder. But uh, they haven't ironed out any of this stuff. You know, they know what they're going to have to do, but they don't know how they want to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of mill in all these buildings, uh, but they're all built out of the same material. In this building, I can go into any one of these rooms and have a stream, as long as I have my phone out here in the hall. Well, I tried that in the room over there, and the phone had full reception, and the iPad said it had full contact with the phone, but the stream just kept saying, recycle, recycle. And I thought YouTube might be screwing with me, so I came over here in my old office, or my actual office, and it's working fine. Haven't, haven't had a drop yet, I don't think. Yeah, these things are metal frame, metal outside. Uh, I guess this is a drywall on the inside. No insulation whatsoever. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of interference. And there again, it might be because my phone was too far from the doorway. In this building, I put it right up against the door, but I can't do that next door because of the way the building is laid out. You shouldn't have any problems, Blizzard, I wouldn't think. Be careful, though, it's a lot of water. <laughs> Your hardest part is probably going to be getting what you need on the plane to get it over there. Because, you know, I think they allow three lipos. You know, of the DJI type variety or the GPS drone variety. Uh, I think that's what they allow for carry-on. I don't think they let you check any of them, but I don't know. Call the airline and find out. And I'd almost bet the lipos like we use on FTVs, they will probably not let it on board. Because if they know all you got to do is pierce that thing to start a fire, you're in trouble. Or they're in trouble. Manic, good morning. Won't be on too long, buddy. I've got to go in about 10 minutes. I really wished I could have left this thing run while I was teaching. I think you would have found it interesting. But it wasn't meant to be. Yeah, I don't like checking bags either, my friend. You know, I take a take a trip to Florida or something and my bags go to Alaska. Not a big fan of checking in baggage. They just I would call them up wherever you're leaving from and ask them what can I bring and what can I? Because they all got different rules as far as the airlines go. Yeah, I'll get in there and check that out, Blizzard, for sure. I'm pretty sure I got that website, your friend's website, but you say it's on yours, so I'll go to yours and look for it. And I'll be the first to admit, I'm pretty far behind on my notifications. I sat there last night after church from, oh, about 8.40 or so until 10 o'clock, going through uh, all my notifications that I could, and I'm still not caught up. Which, that's cool. That works. So, J and C, oh wait, you're getting kids out the door. Never mind. I'm going to ask if you're going to do any fishing today. Or not. Pretty soon you'll be cutting holes in the water to fish. <laughs> well, holes in the ice. Maybe not too soon, though. Yeah, I had a beautiful picture next door. I had this thing all set up to film me teaching. It might have been, and then again, it might not have been very interesting. You never know. But, uh, yeah, it's 
that it wasn't meant to be, I guess, because I just could not get a signal. I guess I could do a video someday of it. That would work. There again. Why? Maybe five more minutes. Go take a look. Make sure I don't have students standing out there. Well, I don't have any students, guys, but I've got fellow instructors fixing to show up and try to get into the buildings. So I'm going to have to cut it. Uh, sorry they're so short. They're going to be short for today and tomorrow. And then hopefully by Thursday I'll be back on track and be able to do a, a decent one. So you all have a blessed day. Take care and be careful out there, uh, especially if you're out in any kind of weather. And this weather here is mild right now, but it's wet as hell. Y'all have a gosh darn good day and take care. And Richard and Janet, I'm just getting ready to log off. I gotta get to work. Uh, I apologize. These uh today and tomorrow are again gonna be really short days. Yeah. So we'll we'll see you hopefully Thursday. I'll be able to do a full one. Uh all the way up until the hub comes on. But today and tomorrow they're all gonna be short. Anyway, you guys take care. I'm gonna have to end it.